just about set. And today's starting pitcher, Ernie Hickman. Yeah, I want to see how he handles left-handed hitters in this lineup today because coming in, lefties are batting over 300 on the year against him. So he's going to have to figure something out to get inside, keep them from getting their arms extended, and then once conscious of the inside pitch, be able to go with something away and finish the them off. Fielder. Here's the center fielder, Patrick Gillespie. The Bambino Perez getting ready to hit. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. And first offering is fouled off. early in the count you have to be real careful because of that power but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him he's still very comfortable and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball ah that ends the inning so we take a break we'll go to the bottom of the first zero zero back now from Hilldale Park and our starting pitcher here today the Bambino Perez Singy always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the hitters are able to. To adapt to him today. And stepping in is the speedy Barney McLaughlin. Now a drag bunt, third base side. And it goes just foul. Here comes the 0-1. And a swing and a miss. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. There we go, kid. count one and two the idea was right looking to locate that fastball up and in he just missed his spot a little bit on the ground one up one down now it's the rookie DH beach kind of a throwback no batting gloves Perez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a slider. To third. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, number eight. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. That one's in there. Strike one. Come on, big guy. The pitch. Another ball. It's a good take. Hey, let her rip one time. That one the other way. Nice grab. Make a great catch like that. It's all about timing the jump. His timing was perfect. Excellent grab, and he comes down with it. The inning is over. here at the ballpark bottom of the inning and here's the first baseman Jerry Sweeney here's a guy who is one of the best in the business you're talking about looking for a hit somewhere and this is a guy you go to 
First offering, misses the ball. Well, in this day of analytics, you have to be really good, and you've got to be consistent as well. Otherwise, you're going to be out of the lineup because of the matchup. But, yeah, it's amazing what he can do from both sides of the plate. And that is cut on and missed. And it's one and two. Hit on the ground to the right side. Ewing on to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. And now number 18. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch doesn't find the zone. You know, but one thing about being a great switch hitter, it's so tough to keep both of your swings sharp. I mean, sometimes it can feel like a long... Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Gone. He circles the bases. Third home run of the season. It's 1-0. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. One out, base is empty. And here is Harry Decker. And there's the strike. Next pitch is outside. Attaboy, attaboy. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boo Dixon may be a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Tosses the first, and they get the out. Here's another look with Statcast Singy. The throw needed to be strong to beat the runner, and it was. Yeah, that play was close, and I think we need to credit that 88-mile-per-hour throw as the difference maker right there. That's just impressive. Bunting for a hit, and he grabs it foul. And he lays down a bunt. Barehand scoop, and he beats it. He's safe. Here's the third baseman, Pat Sullivan. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. Throw to second. Great jump. Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for these guys. All right, full time right here. The pitch. Swing and a bouncer. Ewing. In plenty of time to first, and that is that. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We play two full. The Cowboys with the lead, one to nothing. And welcome back. On, the batter will be the shortstop, Thomas Gorman. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. Lays out and makes the play. This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. Statcast tells the same story. I mean, he got to his spot as quickly as you can possibly get there. And he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. And he grounds one to the right side. Come on, big guy. Get and it right is. Way out front for strike two. Good eye right there. 
One down, base is empty. Lifted in the air, right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Strike in there. Safe at second, and that was not close. When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a great jump right there. Really nice steal at second base. McLaughlin over at second, one down. The other way, that's a hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Back to back singles. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. One away, runners at first and third. And now here is number eight. He's over one. A one down. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. On the ground, could be two. Slings to second, and that's two. No runs on two base hits. No errors, and one left on. Three innings complete. The Cowboys on top here, one to nothing. Set for the start of the inning. Now at the plate, the Bambino Perez. The pitch. Swings and misses. Going one. High fly ball out to center field. Gorman on his way over. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one down. At the plate, Cherry Sweeney. And here it comes. Strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. To the right side. And a quick out, number one. Next to hit, number 18. He's already homered here in this one. Ball one, no strikes. And that's too high. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Rip to the left, base hit. He was all over that one. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive. He's going, he's going. First offering, runner goes. Pitch in for a strike. Throw, save. That's a stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, and it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. And that one is lifted in the air. Ward has this one sized up. He's got it. Out number two. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Number 35 up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Two steal, outs steal. and one in scoring position. Throw to third. He's safe. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. 
Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him. And right there, still in third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. Ball to strike. They say it went. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Next pitch is in the dirt. And the count is even, two and two. Kicks and deals. Just missed. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Sullivan can't hold up, and that's a strike. They say it went. Corners are occupied with two down. In the dirt, blocked. Tosses the first inning over. So two down. Now the Bambino Perez cruising on the mound right now, but a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. Up the middle. Throws the first. That ends the frame. Back at Hilldale Park. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the shortstop, Thomas Gorman. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Hey, get your pitch, see through, huh? Let's go. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Squeezes it, and there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Barney McLaughlin will hit next. And that's in there for strike one. Just missed. They say it went. And the pitch. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's a nice grab on the run. And that's the third out. Welcome back. John Shabby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, number 50. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And it's one and one. Well, these guys looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Next offering is in for a strike. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. him looking that's a strikeout well he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner it's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin well he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike Sweeney in the box now no balls in a strike next offering upstairs one and one Righty delivers. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. Two down. And yeah, the batter now, number 18. He's already homered in this game. 
hammered. Base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now he's is going, passing. He's going. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's the ball. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. Come on, baby. See you on second, two down. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. A one-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That is the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. And next is the designated hitter, the Bambino Perez. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything yeah, over their heads. Pitch and drive and all lasers all day. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out on, first. It's Come going to be on, tough buddy. to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Shoots a line drive hey, single into right spin. center. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Now I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over. Absolutely smoked that ball. Next to switch hitting first baseman, Roger Connor. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Hey, Rick right here. At the belt and fires. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. No outs, runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's really good hitting the baseball the Come other on, way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Hitter definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Kicks and fires. And strike two. Runners at first and second with one gone. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Ground ball right side could be two. Sweeney toss the second return throw to first got him double play and that'll do it so no runs on two hits no errors and a runner left midway in inning number seven and it's time to stretch the all nations on top four to one back now from Hilldale Park and here is number 35 and the pitch Good eye right there. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. That one ripped. Puts it away for the out. Pat Sullivan, the next to hit. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well, outstanding on the defensive end. They say it went. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Line drive, short hop to third. Over to first. And that quickly, two away. 
Now it's going to be Thomas Gorman. First pitch just misses. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Out to short. That's the third out. Inning over. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in, Barney McLaughlin. Perez back to work. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. Dribbled up the third baseline. Rolls across the diamond. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Beach stands in now and watches strike one. Jack swing went around and it's nothing in two that one missed tough to take a two strike change up hey, you can do it. just no missed I think it froze him and down on strikes he goes that's out number two and now the switch hitting catcher number eight this guy is one of the best athletes in the sport just off the outside part of the plate. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. With painting the corners, yeah, got, working nice on job. the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one you tip your cap. Hey, there you go. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. The Bambino Perez digs in now. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. And a swing and a miss there. Well, hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. Let's see how he changes it up on this next pitch. Hard hit, left field base hit. And that extends the inning. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. Now, here is Roger Connor. Safe at second with a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. He gets the intentional walk here, and now will force at any base with two gone. So two on with two away. Now the third baseman, number 13. And a pitch. Runners on the move. Pitch is low. Throw to third. Save. Double steal. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. Wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Two one on the ground the first stops it on a slide nicely done for the out so they strand a pair one more shot coming up bottom of the ninth on deck the all nations have the lead four to one pitching change here number one he pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again And now, number 18. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 4-1 the final here today.
For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shum. Thanks for joining us. Vantar Vital Line Score. First for the victorious visitors.